Hey Force Chris once again, welcome back to another video. This is another request this time from um Alex. Sorry, you just my computer here. From Alex and he wanted me to react to another a video, this time by a YouTube channel called Truly. Oh, that's goosebumps, it's not truly. Um And this one is called The Goth Who Is With The Lolita Doll Fucked On The Look. I just buy the thumbnail. It's going to be pretty. Not to bash anybody. These two girls, but if they look like Nightmare Field to me. <laughs> On the one girl shirt, the goth girl shirt, there's a fucking cuss word that's blurred out, so. So, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and we're just gonna watch it. <laughs> I feel a fucking play, come on. And the lights turned down. Sorry, these ads are fucking terrible. I love uh, being with someone that is static. Her two, her, dude, her tongue is split in two. That's creepy. She looks like Satan, but also loves the things that I present myself as. Damn, she's showing the car black. Get out of seeing us kind of wandering about. Uh, not to be rude, but I'd be staring too. London, of course. On the other ones, I don't want to match up people there. At least she's not a brawny. My name's Rosie, and I like pastel things. My style is 80s. Shit. Shit. Hit the wrong damn button. Pastel things. She is beautiful. She is pretty. Looks nice, sweetheart, but that tongue. My no. style is 80s. My name's Jude, and I'm a goth. Basically, I just love all the black and white. She's got pretty. I like her outfit too. Actually, I like their their looks. Just street fashion. I don't think I get into it, but. See my style as I don't like that an escape from the real world because it's so, so easy that to shit about the a dream-like state when you're surrounded by so many visuals, so much decoration, so much color. My favorite color is black. I see that. And she's in the witchcraft too, nice. I don't have my nails on top, it's just me not ready yet. Look, people assume uh, that it is like a costume or a mask or something, but I definitely don't. I feel like more myself like this than I do when I wake up in the morning. Yeah. So, this is the wardrobe. Do they live in the same house? They fucking do. Area. It's like split in two. Let's be honest. Her and her. That's, that's pretty we cool, actually. Joseph's completely split it down the middle because we obviously want to fix our wardrobes together, so we wanted our own. I wonder how they did that. That's cool, though. That's the roommates. I mean, this is kind of a joke, but. Kind of awesome. like, my favorite thing about us living together is that if you've just had like a bad day at work, something really simple, to just be able to swap next door and have someone who genuinely understands everything you say, and a space where we feel comfortable, I feel that. Like decorate and make our. I'm wearing a Sans Me. Like, we needed two space, and there was only like one, like Colgate, like yeah. the blue, yeah. red, and white. No, I can go away. We just wouldn't have toothpaste. I've got a marshmallow flavored toothpaste, and the packet is lilac and pink, and it's got these happy little marshmallows on. And mine is black and white, and it's charcoal, so that's just basically black. Nice. Well, here in the toothbrush is black. Yeah. But it's got that little rice on it, so I have it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say, yeah. They've together. The that's the And the, the reason we met is because we both look very strange. Excuse me. We weren't the strangest people in the world. Oh, like always. <laughs> 
Technically, they've been I'm friends for a while. Just intrigued by her. So the curtains are always shut because they're safety pins and they're blackout curtains. Uh, I don't like the lights. <laughs> I also don't like the people outside. I don't think I have ever in my life seen black, even when your eyes are closed. <laughs> yeah, I like when people are watching through my fucking window either soccer, you know. Someone dressed so intensely. She was just black everywhere, like gorgeous makeup and like metal. I kind of do makeup for I shit. I for shit. I felt alone a lot of the time, and seeing this other kind of strange being, I was automatically drawn to her, and that's just where our friendship grew. Is that favorite bit? Is the lamb in the hot air balloon with the two giant pieces of the like pink for that is I think that's why we connected so much because we do have a core cool kind of style but so many inspirations drawn in from so I love that they were things. I love that they uh, were I like to keep my collections in I love the that they respect themselves and I give they don't give a shit what people think. That's my people. I I feel that way too. So they're kind of grouped together in the same place. So I've got a little, a different kind of theme. Just, just do what makes every segment of my room. Just do what makes you happy as long as you're not hurting anyone. Just people just do. Some people just do not fucking understand. But other people, like you know, even though I like horror stuff, obviously, most people don't like horror stuff. But they got problems saying, "Oh, you're disgusting." I'm like, dude, it's just a fucking hobby. I'm not hurting anyone, you know. But I don't give a oh, fuck, and they don't either. And I love that. So. He escapes and ate some of the wall. It's only the paint. It's only the paint, so we can paint over it. Let's go to the kitchen and we can get her a wash. The hell is she holding? I feel like this apartment is just so like, chill all the time. Yeah. It's a bit shy. Uh -huh. Oh man, it's a smell. Oh. Don't be careful with salt. Please. Definitely do salt. I get a lot of attention in the street. By a lot of people, especially if people are from both of them. Imagine walking, people saying, Oh, look at that. Really like, to be honest, person. Just walk around and people not notice me. Which I think is a common misconception with people that look inside a civil extreme. They assume that you want the attention, you want to be the center of attention all the time, but a lot of them don't. But I just like looking like this. Yeah, I, I like the way that I like the way it's they. Never just attention. It's the way they. Why do you look like Weird. that? And the way they Who think. are you? Why are you doing it? It's always like they are trying to find a reason for what I'm doing instead of just being okay with it. Well, they, just, they just want to live, man. They're people. Just like you and me. Hello, bud. Yeah, nice. I love your hair. Your hair is yeah. When I get people come up to me in the streets and they're like, I love the way you look. Like, you're really inspirational. That warms my heart and I'm so humble because inspiring people is inspiring, you know, for oneself. To inspire other people when that's just growing amazing. Up, what I heard is you're not gonna get a regular job, you're not gonna get a job ever, you know, if you get tattoos in an obvious place, if you choose to look weird and yeah. instead of being like, Oh, can't look at the I'll tongue, man. Take all my piercings out and I'll look like a normal human being, I thought well, maybe I don't want a normal job if it's not gonna let me be who I am. Yeah, same here, girl. And people don't give a shit if people don't really care about me because I like scary stuff and I like horror movies and I like goosebumps and I like gross shit. But people aren't gonna let me be their friend if they don't respect what I like and like who I am and what. I look like I'm like then I don't want to be your fucking friend, you fucking asshole. That's what she that's what she's basically saying about her her tattoos and her piercings and shit. Like, if you don't if you don't like the way I look then I'm not gonna be your fucking friend. I definitely think that people do dump the conclusions based off of the way you look. People do assume that you're either gonna be rude and angry or you're just like sad and depressed. It's quite strange. But I really like to break the stereotype of that. I like to be the cheerful mom, the, the friendly one who would get up and left feet for an old lady on the shoe. It's, it's me. It's completely how I feel on the inside and just trying to show that to the world. 
trying to display how I feel in my brain and my body. I love being with someone that aesthetically looks like Satan, um, <laughs> but also loves the things that I present myself as. I think that's why we've got such a strong connection. People get a kick out of seeing us kind of wandering about. Why are you friends if you like black and you like pink? You can't like more than two colours in this world. Wow. Well, you guys remember this. Remember, hear this for me, your hobbies are always cool. You know why? Because you enjoy them. And other people will too. And they're because you make them cool. You make you make your hobbies and all that shit your own. You do your own thing. You just collect what you want to collect. Watch what you want to watch on TV. Look the way you want to look. I mean if a guy really has tattoos over his face, I don't care. If he I respect who he or she is. Respect the way they look, and just let people live their lives. If they're not hurting anybody, then let then leave them the fuck alone. If you want to be their friend, be their friend, but don't judge them by what they, why they look or the stuff they like. Just respect people the way they are, and, and just don't be an asshole. Is what I'm saying, basically. Like, if you don't like horror movies, or tank tops, or shit that I do, then don't be my fucking friend. If you don't like horror stuff, that's fine, but if you're gonna bitch at me just because I like that stuff, then fuck off, seriously. But, that was a great video, that was a great message that those girls were giving that too, just Expect who you are, be who you are, because we do not like copiers. Remember that, everybody. So, yeah. So, with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.